do, 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 do. Hello to all the hair besties in the land. It's a very special day. I'm here with Hannah. Hi. It's a bit of a paranormal hair activity situation. Oh. You were originally my model. For Rose Gold. I worked for a hair brand modeling and they just ruined my hair. It bleached the hell out of it and then added this like weird pink. My bangs are half pink, half yellow. It's like some like blue green under here. I like to be more like dark up here to a nice like golden blonde. Just it's natural. Nice like natural, yeah. Yeah, I'll do the best I can. Let's go inside and see what we can do, okay? Right. You ready? Yes, let's go. All right guys, I want you guys to take a good look at this. When you take a look here, you can see that she has a little bit of striping here, a little bit of striping over here. So there's two chunks and all of a sudden there's like a dark patch through here then when I lift this up you can see that there's some highlights internally so there's dark there's orangey patches here striped up through this way you can see that there's a light piece in through here and this part was lifted really blonde it's like almost platinum then there's a dark then there's an orange and then all of a sudden right above that there's a dark chunk and then right above that there's stripes this is truly paranormal all of a sudden there's a pink patch right in the front her face almost disappears into her skin but now it looks like she has a bigger forehead because there isn't depth here and right around the face she has green blonde so we have to shadow root all this down and turn all the dark blonde so let's get started so my choice to shadow root her with is 8N9 my Danny Danny permanent color it's natural ice it's great for low lighting or shadow rooting and I'm just gonna inject a little bit of the 6N9 a little bit goes a long ways because I feel like it can go too dark and I don't want her roots to go too dark one to two parts with my Dandy 6 volume. I always say it's important to measure with a delicate developer. Otherwise, you're gonna get color that might not be promised because the delicate developer contains the right amount of buffers and conditioning qualities to it. Her face is literally connected to her fringe or her bangs. The color comes too close together. So what we're gonna do is create a shadow root right around the hairline. So we're gonna place all the formula just on the rootage. And just like a regrowth application, I'm just applying this throughout her whole entire head. See where she's really, really light right back through here? I'm able to apply the Demi Permanent Color through everything. Everyone's hair is different on the nape versus the top around the hairline. So if you have to formulate accordingly to different parts of the hair, then you should. I'm gonna shadow root that area around her parietal blended into her natural color as I open this area up on the other side of her head you can really see all the paranormal situation this is where the shadow root formula is gonna blur and merge everything together all right guys so I'm done with the first color application her bright scalpage color is getting dark the pinkish tone kind of mixed with the NI color which is not a problem because our goal is to go darker in the rotage anyway if she want her final result to be maybe lilac -y rose gold so we're gonna work with that I'm opting to use magnum 8 and magnum 8 is a lavender powder lightener so I like to mix magnum 8 1 to 2 ratio less is more so take notice I only use one third to an ounce you guys remember we have a dark patch here slightly orangey in through down here I'm gonna go right above that orangey piece tackle this whole dark chunk that you see here pull out all the light pieces and you're gonna see me back home and we're gonna highlight this area until it touches the demarcation line I'm gonna place this foil down and we're gonna paint magnum 8 into a V section with fine hair I find that it lifts very very easily so you'll see me use magnum 8 so as I get through this area here where you're seeing that she's blonder I'm gonna feather a little bit vertically so it'll blend and I'm gonna repeat this so I get up to the top. You're gonna see me do an oil overlay versus folding the foil up because I find that when you do it this way it's gonna be a lot neater. Thank God she doesn't have too much of the brown chunks so it's not gonna be a lot of foils needed. We just need a couple foils popped in to ensure that we get the dark pieces out. Color correction can be kind of scary sometimes but if you break it apart into two three or four steps you realize I can do this. Let your client know upon consultation that these things take time. All right guys so what I'm excited about is this new exciting paintbrush with Framar. So I'm gonna paint it on the brush first and you'll see me feather it lightly into where I see the orange. I choose to do a balayage method here because the pieces here is a little bit more orange and doesn't need that additional lift. I just want to feather it in and not fully penetrate and back comb the hair. Now we are processing her hair. 
<laughs> yes, girl. When I first found you, you came to the model call for the My Daddy Rose Gold photo shoot. And I go, oh, I like your hair. I picked you out. I didn't even look at your Instagram. I didn't even care, honestly. What you told me is that a lot of companies reach out to models just because they have a high following, even if they don't fit the part. There's some agencies, a lot of them now too, on their like main page, they'll list their models with the highest followers or they'll have like an influencer section where all their models who have um, a following on Instagram, they list them. Even one of my com cards, one of my agencies has my followers on it. They look at it as a double promotion, so they'll go for someone who has followers over someone who doesn't, which is kind of sad because now a lot of models are trying to buy their way up. Models are buying followers now so they get chosen, so they companies will choose them. That way. I chose you because you're a model with an agency. People should focus more on what fits the part, who fits the part, and hire someone that fits the part. I get kind of insulted sometimes when someone go, like they introduce you with your numbers versus introducing you <laughs> with the hair bestie, Guy Tang, that shares his knowledge. Nope, they introduce you first as the person with the number. Would you like it if someone introduced you as how much money you have in your bank account? No, of course not. No, value is what someone can do for you and what someone means to you. Relationship, it's about loyalty and respect. Like I have all the time, like these like little girls will message me like asking for advice on like bullying or telling me that I'm their inspiration or I inspired them to be a model or I inspired them to do just anything. Like it, I love it. Like it's such a great feeling to know that people really care and look up to what I'm doing. Wow, Hannah, you're amazing. I think we're hair best. Now. Yes! It's been 30 minutes processing, as you can see, and I'm gonna start pulling out some of the foils now. <gasps> 30 volume magnemate with Olaplex. Look at that lift though. It leaves behind the perfect creamy, some people call it the inside of banana. What's funny is I got a banana right here. <laughs> Pretty damn close, if I could say so myself. Hers has a little bit more of a beigey tone to it, mainly because the, the lightener has a lavender tone, so it's reflecting off the beigey tone. Look at the ones I balayage compared to the one that I put inside the foils with 30 volume. You can see they lifted the same. This is the second side I started on. You can see the shadow root formula completely blended the color. So that means we're probably ready to pull out everything. Take your time, and the lip will always come out even. All right guys, I just mixed up the Guy Tang My Identity Blush Demi Permanent Express Toner, one to two ratio, with the six volume. If you look at her rutage, the chunks and the stripes are gone from the eight and nine with the five grams of six and nine. The six and nine go really, really deep. So you can see how it completely blurred out the light pieces that were all around her face. So I already top blotted her hair. I like to just go in my hands because I get to move quicker. When we're doing express toners, they work in five minutes. Her hair is lifted to a nine in most areas. She has multiple tones in there. So this will help act as a pre-toner or a primer for our rose gold color melt. You can see back here her hair is a little bit more like a level 8. 7 RG is going to be perfect for a level 8 because it has a lot of violet background pigment so it's going to cancel out this warm gold orange gold. The blush toner is already doing this magic. It's creating this really flesh like pinky tone. Blow and dry from the blush as you can see her retouch here is darker. You can see kind of like that blushy tone is pinkish but not over the top pink. So pretty. This is the Guy Tang My Dandy Swatch Book. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna be utilizing today. I did the blush toner here, and this is shown on purely white hair. So we lifted Hannah's hair up to a level nine. Parts of the ends may be a 10, but primarily her hair was a nine. The blush, level nine, this is what you get. As you can see, the 7RG has a violet undertone to it to kind of cover up what we're having here. Look how gold that is. Of course, she has the blush toner in there. Her hair is actually at a level eight here. So if I put level nine, RG there's not enough pigment to cover up the gold that you're seeing in her hair and her scalp will need more pigment too the 6DL this is gonna cool her rootage down and I'm gonna inject some of the pink glow booster it works as an amplifier you can add anywhere from one to five grams into your rose gold formula to ensure that you get more pink into the hair I'm gonna put 6DL equal parts of 7RG we need that extra violet dose and depth so I'm gonna mix it one to two because I want more acidic demi, so it's gonna have more high shine gloss. Since her hair has been through quite a bit, I'm gonna inject some Olaplex into this formula as well. Hannah's rooted really chair. This is where we're gonna apply our first formula. I'm only gonna apply about an inch from her scalp. This has a 6DL dusty lavender in it, so it has more depth. 
Okay, so now I just got done applying her retouch formula. I'm gonna go in with level seven rose gold. I'm gonna mix it one to two ratio again with six volume. Color Max Dual Booster, it's called Pink Glow. I'm gonna squeeze in about that much. That's about two to three inches. That little bit of blue in there will go in and neutralize that excess orangey tone that you see. The pinky red color from the 7RG remains, so it gives you that rose undertone. So as you can see, as it sits, it starts to look slightly violet. It always looks darker while it's processing, but as you shampoo and blow dry it out, it's a lot more sheer. Now we're gonna add some level nine rose gold. It makes it one to two with six volume developer. Her hair is lighter in the ends, and I am adding the booster, so it's gonna really amplify that pink. If you want it to look more natural, you can use it without the pink glow. So again, we're adding pink glow, Color Max Dual Booster, about that much. Now I'm gonna merge the 9RG with the pink glow into the hair. If the ends appear like a level 10 to me, I leave that out because I can always add clear right on the end. Hannah is processing, so as you can see, the color kind of just blurring and melting in together. Slightly on the lilac side while it's processing. Don't get scared. I'm gonna let it process for a full 25 minutes because the dyes need to fully penetrate and develop. <laughs> She looks like an anime. She is gorgeous. How do you feel? I love it. Like, I feel so much better than when I came in. Like, you had an identity crisis. I had a huge identity crisis. We fixed you. All the spots are gone. All the drama is gone. Look at that color. I am obsessed. The like, rose gold seamless. You got bangs in. It feels and looks a lot silkier. You almost forgot what you came in with. I know. I did. Honestly. All the hair of Bessie's in land. You guys know the formulation now. You know the steps on creating a beautiful rose gold and color correction in one video. You can stalk her on Instagram. I'll leave the links below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, subscribe, leave comments. Tell us what you think about this type of video because this is probably one of my most paranormal situation to date. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, say sayonara. Sayonara. To all the hair besties in the land.